So in the previous videos on Windows Server and System Center licensing, we've mainly focused on Windows Server, uh, what's the core and Cal licensing model, how to license your uh, Windows Servers, and what additions there are for Windows Server. But now we want to talk about System Center. And System Center is basically the management tool of Microsoft to uh, manage and uh, operate the management on your entire server environment. It contains of a limited amount of uh, products called uh, configuration management, manager, data protection management, manager, endpoint manager, operations manager, service manager, and virtual machine manager. And if you buy system center, you basically buy a whole package of these products. You cannot separate any of the components. And the licensing model is very similar to that of Windows Server. However, there's a few dis differences. System Center is only licensed with cores. You don't need any client access licenses because, it, because you basically use it to manage your entire environment. So it's not like you're managing access to the your Windows Server environment. No, you're managing the Windows Server environment through, for instance, Configuration Manager. You license the servers that are being managed. You don't license the management servers itself. So if you install a Windows Server environment with System Center, that machine doesn't necessarily need a system center license, but all the machines that you manage in your environment do require that license. And System Center has a, a software assurance requirement, so you can only buy it with software assurance included. System Center uses a SQL Server technology as its base layer, and the usage of SQL for System Center purposes is free of charge, so that's included in the, in the license fee of System Center. So keep in mind that your uh, SQL installations might show up in your SAM tooling. So it's good to be aware if you're using System Center on any of your servers that you flag these so that you don't count those additional cores when you need to license SQL Server. System Center has the same two editions as Windows Server. So you have Windows Server Standard, but also System Center Standard, and you have Windows Server Data Center, and also System Center Data Center. If you buy any of these two editions, you have all the system center components included that I've mentioned before. You can manage any workloads. You have the right to the management server software, gives rights to the SQL technology that is required to use system center. And again, you need that software assurance on top of this. So here as well, a bit of a feature overview for a system center. So also like I talked about in the Windows Server core, licensing video, Microsoft moved from a processor to the core-based licensing model in everything after version 2016. And with Windows Server, that system center licensing model has made the same change. So also here you have the same rights uh, for system center as you have with Windows Server. And the differentiator, the biggest differentiator here is still the virtualization rights that you get. So if you buy data center, you can manage highly virtualized server environments. If you buy a standard edition, that's mainly for managing non virtualized or lightly virtualized servers, because that same rule here applies as well. With the data center edition of system center, you get to manage an unlimited amount of machines. And with the standard edition, you have that two virtual machine limit. Licenses, again, are only required for the endpoints or servers being managed. The license mobility requirements for a system center are similar to that of Windows Server as well. So you have license mobility across server farms, which means that you get to move them freely through your environment. And you have the license mobility through software assurance, which means that you can move or use your licenses in a third party shared server environment for the, the use for your needs in that outsourcer's environment. Now, on the table that you see in front of you, you see the features of System Center. So the feature differences are not there. All the products are included in Data Center and Standard. However, the main difference again is that virtualization, right? As a final note that we've talked about, this is in another video, the combination of Windows Server and System Center is called Core Infrastructure Server Suite. And these suites are usually a cost-effective way. So if you're using both Windows Server and System Center, but you license them separately, bringing them together in the core infrastructure suite license will be uh, saving you some money.